Hey guys, Tony here. I'm assuming since you clicked on this video, you're maybe thinking of upgrading your first gen Honda Ridgeline stereo. I'm not going into detail on how I installed this stereo. I'm not gonna go into too much detail on the stereo at all. I'll show you a few features and what all it can do, a few things, but I will post a link to the video that actually inspired me to try this head unit out. So let me get in the truck and show you my new 10 inch head unit. Let me talk a little bit about the installation before I go and turn the unit on. So the brand of this radio is TIs. It's an Australian based company, but it's outsourced to China. And I'm starting to see a lot of these style head units pop up in various websites. I'm not sure if they're all the same, but this one in particular is TIs and it got really good reviews from the video that I watched that I'm gonna link below. With the Honda Ridgeline, with the bezel being one piece, they don't offer a uh, dash kit for this size. Yeah, so when you get on TI's website, you can go through various manufacturers and automakers, and they have Honda, but it's mostly cars. There's nothing for a Ridgeline. There's no dash kit for a Ridgeline, but I had kind of pre-measured you know my bezel here and i knew what the dimensions of the radio were and as you can see my cuts weren't weren't perfect but i was able to get the radio in and you can see i'm barely i barely have enough room there but it's there if you guys have a tip on what i could cleanly fill this in like a little trim piece i want to put something where you can't see this not really concerned about the bottom the bottom looks okay it's just mostly the sides and the top. In that video that I'll link, he goes through the unboxing process and shows you all the different mounts that you can use, like universal mounts for a double den to be able to install one of these. Again, the installation is straightforward, pretty much like any other head unit. It's just, if you don't have their custom kit, then you may have to end up cutting your own dash or your, your own bezel, and that can be risky. If you screw that up, you know, you'll be buying another piece here and I think they probably run around 300 bucks on eBay. But like I said, I'm not gonna get too much into the details of installing. Um, I'll post a picture here showing you a few little things. <laughs> Um, let's dive into what the radio is about. All right, watch how quickly this boots up. Turning the key on now. Done. I had to put up my sun visor, just too much glare. Here's the unit and basically what you're looking at is a Android tablet. I believe it's running Android 10.1, but this radio does a lot. I mean, it does anything a tablet does. It does everything a traditional radio or head unit does for you guys that want to be able to watch youtube um, want to be able to check emails uh, want mapping want the ability to have internet on this device all the time you have that option this unit comes with both 4g and 5g lte hookups so if you pay for it get a sim card and pay for the service you plug the antennas in and you'll have wi-fi on your head unit all the time you have a power button here. We're on the home screen now, and you have volume controls here. If you hit this, this is kind of like your all of your apps. I got Google Chrome on here. I mean, I I, I don't want to explain to you guys what a tablet is. Y'all know, but I mean, you have the power of a tablet right here at your fingertips, and it's very smooth. It's very fast. The screen brightness, it's a OLED screen, and at 10.1 inches, it, it just looks really good. I had a Kenwood double den radio head unit in here before. I put it in my other truck and now it's kind of like, I can't see anything and it looks dim compared to this unit. You see, I got Prime Video on here. I could watch a movie, obviously when I'm parked, not when I'm driving, I could watch YouTube, I can check emails. Um, I mean, literally what you could do on a tablet, you can do on this head unit. Let's talk about its intended purpose though. It's a radio. It has a fantastic equalizer. You have bass enhancement, you can change the field, filters. I mean, it gets pretty in depth. It's all optical audio out. So the sound quality is superb. So you, you can close different things that you have open. Um, has the option for live wallpapers. I think the 3D Earth is really cool. And you can set as wallpaper. You can do it as a home screen, a lock screen. 
you know, neat little things like that. You have your maps here. You can change out the satellite. It has wireless Apple CarPlay and Android, uh, Android Auto. The radio is really good. I gotta hook my subwoofer up to this unit still. You got weather on here. It does voice commands. Uh, you have different things that you can do through the TIs. Uh, this is kind of proprietary to TI, so that's the little button there. You can do a DVR uh, if you got a front uh, camera and you want to record. Uh, you can do reverse camera. I don't have a camera installed yet. You can set up your mapping system for whatever map you want, whether it's Waze or Google, Apple Maps. TI's also offers a 360 degree camera, which is really cool that you install in your in your mirrors and one in the front, one in the back, and it stitches the images together to make one 360 degree view, which is really cool. I've watched some videos on it. Maybe something I'm gonna do in the future. Uh, like I said, guys, there's so many different things it does. I just wanted to show that it could be done in a Honda Ridgeline. I think it turned out great. It clears everything. I can still open, I can open that. It's not hindering my vents. One negative I will say is that the, the unit did ship without the power harness, which kind of sucked, honestly. Um, it took a while to get, it did take probably, I'd say a little over a month after I placed my order to get. It may be getting better, but see, I'm getting notifications now because I guess I'm connected to my home uh, Wi-Fi. Let's check and see. Uh, wi well, yep, connected to my home, so that's why. While right, we're connected, let's go to YouTube and pretty slow right now uh, I'm barely connected to my home Wi-Fi I guess I'm not close enough to the house hold tight let me fix that okay guys we're back online here I'm just using the hotspot from my phone to provide internet for my head unit so I didn't originally hook up the 4G or 5G LTE antennas to this head unit because I knew this is what I was going to be doing didn't want to be paying for an extra service when I already have it on my phone and it works really well the internet is really, really fast. So on YouTube here, let's just click on a video. Now the sound quality, you're obviously not going to get the full, full sounds from my phone, but the sound is really good. Go full screen, Tesky Brothers. I don't want to get flagged for that song in the video. So as you can see, I mean, pretty freaking good quality if you ask me. Um, also, you have the option of, let's say, let's go back home. Let's open up uh, Google Chrome. Let's go to VentureTube, Venture.net. Okay. <laughs> it's actually the first time I've visited my website uh, on the on the head unit <laughs> but anyway my point was to show you that if I hit this button here I can do a split screen we go here we got YouTube I'm on my YouTube channel now let's uh, let me click on a video download the Domino's app today and we got YouTube playing here and let's open up Google Chrome there's my website Let's get the ad. Hey, good morning, guys. You know what we're about to do. I take the you can do the first like that. Make sure you can do, right that's the full screen when you're in split. You know, and I have the website over here. You see it changes on this side when I do that, but I mean, pretty cool. You want to go to one, just swipe it over, and now we're here. It's a really cool radio. I said it's a it's a tablet in your car and it it works good so i know there's tons of things that i'm probably forgetting i know that i am but you guys make sure to check out that uh video which again encouraged me to purchase this radio the guy goes in great detail he actually compares this stereo to a lot of different uh head units and this one is one of his top picks he's reviewed a lot of head units and he knows a lot more than i do about them so i kind of trusted in him to make my purchase and i spent a little over 400 bucks for it i mean not much it was like barely over 400 i don't remember off the top of my head but i wouldn't say over 420 bucks for a unit with a 10.1 inch screen 
excellent sound quality, great equalizer, wireless. I didn't show you all that. Uh, it's actually kind of comical. The icons are so huge that it just, I mean, it looks good, but it's just funny compared to what I'm used to. But anyway, I um, hope this video helped you out, guys, and maybe inspired you to maybe upgrade your radio. And if you're interested in this product, I'll also have a link directly to TIs. I'm not affiliated with them whatsoever. Uh, just trying out their products and trying to update my old 2006 Honda Ridgeline to more modern standards, I guess you could say. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and also make sure to check out my other Honda Ridgeline videos. I go through my whole truck showing my uh, upgrades and updates and all that kind of stuff. So if you like that, check it out. If you like kayak tournaments and stuff like that, hopefully I'll be getting back into that this year. All right, guys, that wraps this one up. There's the radio. Does some cool stuff. Does more than I know what to do with. 400 bucks, can't really complain about it. Install wasn't the easiest in the world, but you can do it. And maybe you'll be one of the lucky people who has a car that comes with the dash kit. Just check it out on their website, and that'll make it a lot easier on you. Thanks for watching. You guys take care. Come on.